listen, people love making Unreal Engine like remakes of like of other things, of yeah. junk. It's like here's the first level of Sonic Adventure Two. It's like here's the first level of Mario sixty four. Nobody not? is gonna make Sonic Battle on Unreal Four, Joey. Why not? It's not gonna happen. Stop asking for it. I just started asking for it, okay? <laughs> and you already need to stop. I want it. Somebody in the comments said that they 100%ed Sonic Battle, and I asked how, and they haven't responded, and I'm... It, I am in it... I am literally, like, waiting with bated breath, because how? Joey needs answers to these questions. How did you do this? I have, like, 500-plus hours in that game, and I've only got, like, 85%. I wonder how confusing it is to watch our stuff from the outside, with the conversations that we have, like, between recording sessions for two seconds, and then it's like, <laughs> we just come back in, and it's like, what... Are, what planet did they visit while we were gone? I haven't yeah. found a single one on here. Here, the planet. A single one. The planet we visited was listening to Sonic music because that's the planet I visit every day, even when I sleep. All Lying right. the freedom. He's singing the song that I was unaware of how good was, and now I will become aware of how good is on the way home tonight. Ooh, the replica program. Oh, jeez. A research project that was. I want to see if there's anything new. A research project was held by Vexen when he was part of Organization 13. Goal was to create empty vessels that would contain a heart and outwardly reflect uh, its original appearance. Previous organization used replica to copy source memories, hoping to give life to a keyblade wielder of their own. But when Vexen did manage to create uh, viable set of specimens, the program was cut short before it could finish reach completion because he got killed by Axel. Man, it sure would be a shame if Vexen was out back to do no good and has created a good body that we're going to commandeer or some garbage. The new organization under Master Xehanort's direct command. It comprises the 13 pure darknesses he needs to reenact the Keyblade War. I'm pretty sure the original Keyblade War had more than 13 darknesses. It was five guilds of the gods, several hundred people. But whatever. This is the thing that's confusing because it's like, okay, so the war, the original war Five caused... Five guilds of children, you The original say. war caused the, the X-Blade to shatter and become the seven pieces of light and 13 pieces of darkness. So it's like, what, what, were, what were they fighting over in the first place? I, I, and what are we fighting over? So they were fighting, at that time, just over control of Lux. They weren't even fighting over Kingdom Hearts anymore. So the idea that they gathered to fight over Kingdom Hearts is now moot and not accurate. But at minimum, again, we keep saying this, they get the blade, and that lets them summon more people to do the war? But I thought the war was going to make the blade. I don't understand. All will be revealed. Many members are recognizable from the old organization. Despite regaining their humanity after their defeat, they chose to become nobodies again. They now scour the worlds for candidates to complete their numbers. So they just did it again. What? What do you mean? What do you mean they did it again? It's different I, now. I wasn't sure that they were, like... Had it been said that they were nobodies before? Uh, I mean, they said, like, they're introducing themselves as under their names. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it hadn't said that yet, had it? Because I figured they were all just... I guess, you know, I, I know, I guess that, that's the first I'm hearing this. I guess, I guess like, they're, they're saying that they opted off-screen to go back to being nobodies to so, have a Xehanort heart put into them. So if we kill them, then they're just going to go back. It's an, They're immortal. Do you even have to be a nobody to have a Xehanort heart in you? Because Sora wasn't a nobody when they tried no, to shoot him with a Xehanort but heart. Maybe, but... And Brag let them put a Xehanort heart into him... Remember in Birth by Sleep, he had the yellow eyes. But they were saying, yeah, but also they were saying that it's like becoming a nobody gives you power or something. That but was it doesn't. That was brought up. It, it doesn't, but that was brought up, wasn't it, at one point? I don't think so. I think fans thought that, but it's not accurate. Ah, uh, man, whatever. Let's go play Tangled World. All right. Hey, we're in Tangled World. Where's Rapunzel? That was. I want to hang out with Rapunzel. That's fun. I want. I, I just want to play video games. I think this is where you were earlier, wasn't it? Uh, no, I am moving. I am in fact moving forward. I promise. I have a remarkably good sense of direction. There was a very long, straightforward tunnel like leading up to. Oh, okey doke. Uh, I don't need to go to that tree. Thank you though. Yes. I do want the money from this poster. Fifty-five every time. That's how much money's he's worth. Oh, that was a pick. I keep. So I, I had several times seen shrubs on the ground and hit triangle thinking it was a thing to pick up, and I would summon an attraction or whatever, because it's like, oh, you were just supposed to hit it to get orbs out of it. And that time I was trying to hit it, it's like, no, it's a triangle prompt this time. <laughs> You're supposed to pick the see there. That one I'm just supposed to hit. Oh, and it called his monkeys to appear. I'll deal I mean, with them in a minute. You just got too close. I got too close. I mean, I, I mean, I understood that that was what, it wasn't, that it wasn't actually the branch that caused it. I was just... Yeah, dingus. I understood that it wasn't the branch that caused it. I just walked into their trigger. I was just, mm, whatever, I don't care. Where's Rapunzel? I want to have fun. Well, if you want to have fun with Rapunzel, make sure to change your keyblade since you don't like looking at this one. You make a good point. 
Well, what's worse, this one or the cactus one? For uh, oh, you're right. I agree, Joey. The cactus one should absolutely be our go-to for uh, yeah, cutscenes yeah, in the future. Hammer. Enemy, enemy, where are, where are you? There it is. Cool. Yeah, flow motion hasn't really come into play at all. It doesn't seem like... I guess that was all right damage. It, it just seems like no, it wasn't. It did the same right amount damage. that we can do in one in like yeah, a half a combo string, it, unless it like sucks a bunch of enemies in. Maybe there will be abilities that enhance like the dam like a damage dealt by full motion attacks. I don't know, whatever. It really feels like we got it. It really feels like we have to just they kept they kept saying, oh yeah, the handheld games are just experiments. We're experimenting with all these different bad gameplay systems. <laughs> And now they gotta like justify that they put all this stuff in and have features of everything here in KH three. I mean, I'm, I'm I'm willing. Like, I think I feel like a lot of casual people who just pick this game up and play it are barely even gonna like see this or understand what it is. The flow motion stuff. Just got a fan. Like wind fan. I'm gonna go ahead and guess right now that that's a weapon for Donald, but I could be wrong. I'm just gonna guess because that feels like like three five eight days over two style joke weapons. Because there were a lot of joke weapons that were things like paper fans and guitars. And pizza, and all kinds of crazy stuff in three, five, eight days over two. Didn't realize there was pizza. No, we we should we should get Axel to wield like dual wield pizzas. Axel's Axel's joke weapons in days were were Is two were two pizzas. Radical. See, I'm I'm ahead of the curve in my head. I mean, I'm super behind, but whatever. All right, let's find out what this fan is. No, it's not. Okay, interesting. It's two items. Item. Not an equipable. I mean, it, it might still be an equipable. Oh, it is. Oh, it's armor. Small boost in defense and arrow resistance and arrow siphon. All right. I think we're fine without that. Yeah. At least for now. Oh, I thought that maybe it was a runnable wall. Yeah, it's I thought not. so. It's, oh, it's hold on. what am I talking about? I got this thing. Oh, shoot. Haha. -ha. Wow. I'm super duper clever. There's a chest. Why'd you leave it? I just wanted to see what was over on that platform. I saw a sparkle and I thought maybe there's something, but it was just a flow motion like trigger. Elven bandana. So there's elves in this world? I guess so. There's All elves right. somewhere. I mean, what Disney movies have elves? There, well, there are elves in Final Fantasy. It's true, but Final what's Final Fantasy? Yeah, you're right. Well, they can have Final Fantasy items in here, just not anything of, <laughs> it's, of Yes, note. yes, yes, of course, of course. Well, you don't have any on him. Uh, I guess that I should give him some, shouldn't I? That's fine. So sure, why not? Here, you can have the wind fan, Goofy. Gorsh. 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 Give me kill? I don't care. You're a tank. Do, do tank things. They, 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 the party members come back. Keeping them alive doesn't matter if they can come back. Life has no value if there is no death. Only Sora can truly die. Can he? Well, I mean, like, you can get a game over state if he gets oh, KO'd. Oh, yeah. I thought you meant, like, in a lore, because I don't know. Maybe not. Well, like again, it, again, people always say, oh, nobody can die in Kingdom Hearts. It's not that death isn't, like, because it's actually directly addressed that the soul is the source of life, and if you just get, like, shot with a gun or stabbed with a normal sword, then the soul leaves the body and you die. Yeah. It's just, it's just that, unfortunately, everyone that we've killed was, a, all the important characters that we killed were either A, nobodies were heartless, or B, the screenwriters brought them back arbitrarily from, admittedly, a state of being dead. <laughs> So I.e. Kill... most of the villains who appeared in KH1 and then went, came back in KH2. Yeah. Though apparently now Maleficent never actually died in the first place. She actually just time-traveled. Even though they... It contradicts the rules of said time travel, but whatever. It's Clearly not we important. just don't understand the rules of the time travel in Kingdom Hearts. They're just too complex for any of us to properly comprehend. There's a long transform sequence. So, the, so it's um, uh, there's, it's not. I don't know. We haven't gotten the video for that one yet. I think I have it set for sometimes. Let me double check. Let's see. Keyblade cinematics. They will play normally. Abbreviated cinematics will play. Hmm. Huh. Maybe it's just because we were up against a wall. The camera like decided not to even try to show it off there. Maybe. We'll see it eventually. To the kingdom. I mean, we we have seen it already. It just we well, didn't. Yeah. We just that time we didn't see it. We've seen it, but it feels like every time we've seen it, it's kind of bugged out. A lot of them do bug out, but whatever. I'm sure it was not their top priority. There's no other direction they could have gone, Donald. We're more concerned about ingredients than we are about Rapunzel and Flynn. I don't know, I feel like, again, like especially because we're just do aping the movie stuff now, like, I feel like on the previous world, on Toy Story, it was like, I felt like suddenly we had a reason to be with these characters and, like, knew them. 
And and the way that like let me put it this way, the way that we were interacting with them felt like we just met. Whereas this does just feel like, you know, retelling of the Disney movie and suddenly Donald and Goofy and Sora are way more invested in this story than they should reasonably be. Yeah. For sure, for sure. No, there's a save point right there. What are you doing? Don't take this away from me. I needed that. I want it. I need that save point. <sighs> I wonder where they went. I wonder that as well, Sora. Don't worry. They couldn't have gotten too far. You just had to stop and talk. Hey, blame the has-been, not me. Oh, I think you mean Marluxia. <laughs> I bet that's the name the has-been would prefer. <sighs> yes. Marluxia is super tough. Like, we, so we've now established that it's in, like, in oh. canon. He's, like, actually just that strong. Flynn. Yeah. Cause there's um uh, I I I forget where we saw I think it was I think it was in like uh, days or somewhere I think it was one of the journals in days or I forget what it was something something that we read was like he was put in charge of Castle Oblivion because of his exceptional abilities so it's like the fact that he was end game boss tier yeah, no. and nobody else was is canon so he's like he's that good <laughs> good travelers do you know Rapunzel her hair should be a little bit grayer by now I think but that's fine. Uh that's a, uh, that's a lot of different models yeah, to make. Sort of. Wow. My apologies. I'm Rapunzel's mother. A sympathetic I've character. A yeah. word, and I've just been worried sick. Please tell you me. You are right. If you booted this up and you haven't seen the movie, there's no evidence that she's evil. No, I mean, the game is, like, cinematically is telling you she is, but that's the only way. It's like, you have to infer. I don't even know if it's telling you cinematically that she... I mean, other than her skulking around with the well, hood what I'm there, saying. I guess. It's like, yeah. she, she looks like a bad guy. Okay, there. I guess that was the first kind of evil thing she did. She dismissed them because they don't I'll know where she, where she is. She ran away from home. We established this. Remember the remember her teleportation rant that you were listening to? Yeah. What? No. Of course not. But what if? I agree. Why is Rapunzel in danger? And what darkness is after her? Well, guys, the first step is to find her. <laughs> I hope Rapunzel's okay. Oh, do we, I guess we go through a load zone because we don't have a map anymore. Uh, maybe this is the part two area. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah, so we have to get, we have to get a new. I, would think, I don't know. We, I don't think there was. I, there wasn't actually a loading screen there though, other than like you know the the cutscene. Like if I think if we walked around, there's not. If we turned around, there wasn't like a, a red line showing a load zone. Mother, where she was going. Because she, also, she, it said track down Rapunzel and Flynn, but I thought it said take down. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, there's multiple paths here, so we do have to do some tracking, I guess. I'll go ahead and save my game. Yeah. What do you know? Maybe maybe they're not just going to hand the map out to us immediately. I'm sure if you say that, we're going to walk forward two feet into this mist, and there's going to be a big chest, and there's going to be a map inside Listen. of it. I but can't what see if? Where we're going. But what if? Or maybe there's nothing here because specifically it's like, oh, I don't know what's going on. It's so dark. Look out. We do? Where? Okay. I guess move forward a little bit. Rapunzel. Oh, over there. Okay. Now, oh, there's the, 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 there's the, look, it's the secret passageway out of the Snuggly Duckling that they don't hey. actually get to, because they go, they take a diversion by the dam. Cool stuff. That's kind of cool. That's a little, so that's a very subtle cue right there. Okay, I guess he doesn't mind water so much. How about fire? He dodged it. Oh. oh. <laughs> there yeah. we go, we did it. Oh man, don't you love it when they become invincible? At least that one was pretty telegraphed. It's like it gave you plenty of time. Let's see. Oh. Regardless, of, like of when it misses like that, I am impressed with the tracking. At least it's pretty ridiculous. Yeah. What do you think you see, Goofy? Oh. The map chest. On um, the map, on um, the map, on um, the map! Part two! Woohoo! Yay, we needed that. 
I don't know what Goofy thinks he sees, but I don't see it yet, so it's I'm gonna go back chest, over here. Honestly. Might have been, yeah. Oh, you can interact with it. No, and you can just get money. It's not even worth it. Oh, they hit it twice, though. Oh, man, look, there's tons oh, of gosh. money here. Tons of money! You're robbing them. Eh, it's fine. They're all rogues and scoundrels. No, no need for magic, Donald. All dead now. Get your 55. There I it need it. I wonder if that'd be less if Goofy didn't have that, because Goofy has that ability on her. One of us has the ability on him, gives them more money. It would be Goofy, and next time you see one, you can unequip it and find out. Let's find out, right? Well, yeah, next time, next time we see, like, you, like yeah, like, as you say, next time we see a wanted poster, we'll turn the ability off and we'll find out. This is very dark. Oh dear, lots of nobodies. That's fine. They probably have synth materials that I need slash want anyway, so... Let's just oh, kill boy. them all. Speaking of killing all of the things in spooky settings, Joey, we were having quite the discussion about Nazi zombies earlier today. Oh, jeez. So, so we now own Call of Duty Black Ops 4, yeah, this... a.k.a. Blackout, and some other stuff. Yeah, so, I, I, I... Despite my best judgment, I do own this now. <laughs> uh, it's because I'm eating my words, because I arrogantly was like, Ha! Huh. You fools. Okay, if you all get it, then I will. No, and, and, and thus and thus initiated the blood oath to defy Joey. And then I did. Uh, but anyway, that, that that happened a little bit ago. Um, before recording, I was online with my friends. One of them was like, "I want to try out the new zombies. Let's hop on the new zombies." So, uh, well, here's the thing. I, if you guys didn't know, here's the thing. Joey sits up, be beginning, beginning his his no, <laughs> beginning no, no. his TED I'm, talk. No, okay, listen. Let me preface this by saying, guys, that I am an old man. I just reached the age of 68, uh, and I'm an old man who likes my old things. And one of the old things that I like is the old Nazi zombies, specifically. Uh, they're not even Nazis anymore. They're not even Nazis! Anyway, uh, <laughs> now they stopped being Nazis a little bit ago. Um, no, no, no. Uh, let's go, let's go uh, take a journey back in the day. Um, Xbox 360. Oh, okay, that's testing. No, I mean, go ahead, go ahead and keep talking. Xbox 360. Um, I was over at a friend's house, and he was like, look at this Call of Duty game. I'm like, Call of Duty? I've heard of Call of Duty. I do not care. Um... But he's like, no, 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 check this out. He's like, there's zombies. And I was like, I was like, what? Zombies? He's like, yeah, Nazi zombies. Oh, yeah, we definitely want that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was, wow. I was thinking maybe we were going to get 50. That's, that's a... No, it was, it was, it was changed, it changed small ones into big ones, basically. Oh, so you're like, right. So, yeah, good stuff. It would be, it would be twice. Anyway, anyway dumb, dumb little Joey was over at a friend's house and was like, oh, this is, this is neat. This is fun because it was just... This was back in simpler times. It was just this was the World at War days when it World was just you, you, you and your friends in Darren a room Toten. with some guns. Yes, but it was it was just the first map, not Darren Toten. No, no even DLC announcements or anything at the time. But I was like, this is great, and I still maintain that. It's like it was just it was a simple concept that was just fun. It's like there was no end goal. It was just play with your friends and have fun for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, they did that, then DLC... Actually, no, 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 I lied. It wasn't before that. He was like, yeah. He was like, here, watch this video. There, there's uh, gonna be another map. I was like, they're doing another one? And this was the same day that I learned, so I don't know why I was so surprised. <laughs> but it was Baruch, and he was like, yeah. And I was, he was like, look, they even have voices this time. I'm like, wow! Uh, so that basically convinced me to get World at War. Or convinced me to convince my mom to let me get World at War. Uh, that was the first time I ever pulled the... Pulled the well, yeah, but my friend has this game, and she was like, "Oh, well, I trust their parents." <laughs> what a mistake that was! It, nah, it was fine. No, you know what it, I mean. I'm just yeah. like World of War is like really gross. Yeah, but I mean, I was listen. No, you I mean you're fine. I'm, I know, fine. I'm saying her being like, "I trust that kid's parents." That's what I meant. Well, see, like, the thing is, like, she, I couldn't slip stuff past her easily because she went one step further than most parents. Because most parents would just look at the box. There was a website that she would go to, and it was like, this is the game, and this is every reason why it's rated M. So it was like, and of course, in World of War's case, it was just violent situations, crass language, and blood, and dismemberment in some situations. But she avoided that, because I was like, yeah, but my fr It wasn't even that friend, it was a different friend. I was like, hey, you're uh, one of your best friends. His son, ha or her son, has this. And she was like, oh. She's like, are you going to play with him? I'm like, yeah. 
Does your mom watch the show? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I've, I mean, I've told her about I'm just, this I'm just on. joking around. But this is a long time ago, anyway, so it doesn't anyway, matter. This is I'm all just a bunch joking of, around. This is all a bunch of useless preamble uh, for some bull crap. Anyway, but the point is, Nazi Zombies, I basically only bought a Call of Duty game for it because it was fun, and I ended up playing multiplayer and single player and all that, of course. Sure. But my heart was in the zombies. I played a little bit of the original, well, not a little bit, I played a decent amount of the original map on World of War, but I never bought any of the DLC, and as I've stated before, the last Call of Duty game I ever bought was Modern Warfare 2, so... Yeah, yeah. I have, while I have watched a lot of the more, the, the movements in, in Call of Duty zombie modes... Um, just because I keep up with everything because I'm nuts. I have not actually played anything after the initial stuff in World at War myself. Yeah, but the thing is, back in the day, it was pretty simple. It was pretty concise. And then, as the last DLC, uh, Darice came out, it, they really... Sh it was like, first map, it was just there were zombies. Second map, you had a crew of randos, and there wasn't much else. But, like, story-wise, because it didn't matter, and it still doesn't matter, guys. Uh, <laughs> ooh, ooh, shots fired. Ooh. Uh, but it, I lost my train of thought, give me a second. Sorry, can we turn this down a little bit? Mm, absolutely. Okay. Because I, I keep having this issue where it's like, as I'm talking, they start talking, and I can't hear myself over them. No, it's fine, I understand. Turning the game down. Alright, appreciate it. Taken care of. Uh, did you get that one? Oh, yeah, I got it, we're good. Okay. That's was the first one, we, that's the looking. first freaking one we found here. Yeah, but anyway, but it's like, Verrucked... A lot of people don't really like the map, and that's understandable, but it's like, I feel like it, I've always felt like it was necessary, because it was like, they just threw a bunch of ideas at the wall to see what stuck, and then they improved it a lot with uh, Shin on Name of the next map. I don't even know why I'm talking about this. The point is, I like Nazi Zombies, The guys, point is that Nazi Zombies was one thing, and now it is another thing, and Old Man Joey is mad. Okay, so, I'll get it. World at War and Black Ops 1, I played a whole hell of a lot of zombies, but we'll skip Black Ops for now. Uh, so new zombies, I'll hop in, and I'm like, alright, let's, let's see what this is all about. Let's see what I've missed out on, because I pretty vehemently avoided Black Ops 2s. I only ever played it when one friend wanted me to play with them, but I never bothered learning. Uh, so I was like, alright, let's see what this is all about now. So I hop in with my friend, he's like, uh, there's bots now. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah. He's like, you want me to put bots on? I'm like, yeah, sure. He's like, alright, what difficulty do you want? Oh, what? There's difficulty now? He's like, yeah, man, there's easy, normal, and, like, hardcore. I was like, let's just throw it on normal, I guess. Whatever. He's like, did you get done making your class? I'm like, what? What do you mean? You start out with a pistol. He's like, yeah, but go look. And I look, and there's, like, there's a skill tree. There's something that has to do with, like, Hades and Zeus and all them. And I saw, like, a D-pad thing. I was like, whatever. All right, let's just get this started. Uh, so we spawn in, I notice that there's a health gauge now, which is, that's not a big issue, but it's like, it used to be two hits to go down, or three hits, because sometimes they did like a weird two hit thing that only really counted as one hit. And it's like, oh, well now I have four, on normal mode, I have double the health as normal. Uh, also these bots are opening doors and are just sniping enemies. It's like, by by the end of it, the bots had three times as many kills as, my, like, those me are my some pretty Those are some pretty effective bots, I suppose. Oh, yeah, no, dude. It ended up, it was actually, like, I think I had, like, 150, and they had, like, three, anywhere from three to 400. They, wait, they, they rack up individual zombie kills now? They count that? They yeah. used to do that. Well, did, did they? It, yeah. Oh, man, yeah, I'm forgetting. No, they did. Don't give me, but there was never bots. Anyway, I hop in, there's, the HUD is all over the place, there's just, there's just stuff everywhere. Well, this is the thing you're talking about, is like, well, so basically, for those who don't know, in Nazi Zombies, the way that it works is you just start in a room, and Back there's in like, the day, you, you spend yeah. points, you shoot zombies, which costs ammunition, but shooting zombies kills zombies, so they can't kill you, and it gets you points. Okay, yeah. You I then spend points to get guns. I mean, that's basically the game, and yeah, then you, yeah, just, you just survive for as long as you can. Especially back in the day, the, the loop on the first map was... So you spawn, like, you get people in the lobby, there is a start button. That's it. You hop in there, you have a pistol, you have two guns on the wall that you can get. I think it was, I think it was a car, 98, and a, uh, and a carbine. Uh, carbine was more expensive. Car was a little bit more powerful early on, but bolt actions suck in zombies because you don't get as many points because every bullet gives you a point. And also you because you just, like, you can't, the rate of fire is extremely important well, yes. in a game where you have to shoot 50 people in a matter yeah, yeah. of seconds. But you're in one room, there are two doors, 
Like, you shoot zombies, and it takes points to open the door. You open the door, there's a mystery box, and you can open the mystery box and get any gun almost from the game, including this, the big, powerful ray gun. Um, and it's like, that was the loop. It's like, you did that, and you, you got your stuff, you hold up in an area, and you just shoot. But now it's like, I have all this preamble. I, it ended up I couldn't actually change anything that I know of from the classes at the beginning because now there's a level up system for your zombies characters. Well, because it's the zombies adventure, dude. Now there's no mo now there's no single player. We got to beef up all of the modes in the Black Ops and there's, 4. But they, they were doing that in 2 as well. And Oh, I don't know when it went back that far. Yeah, yeah. No, character customization. Could, oh, yeah, levels. no, there, there was that and whatnot. I don't think it was as deep, but also they kept the... The the real... <laughs> You want to know what really turned me off for it? What really turned me uh, off? It was it? called Gobble Gum, and that isn't back, but there's a system similar, as far as I could tell. I specifically didn't touch it because I didn't want to get mad. Gobble Gum was a system of like, hey, there's these machines that you can open up in there to get, uh, to get like weird like pseudo perks or whatever. It's like, but to unlock them, you gotta roll the gotcha. <laughs> and also, the really good ones are consumables uh... that you can only use once. I remember in like the more. chain of memories playthrough, you were talking about like cheating gotcha stuff in Call of Duty. Like at that point in time, when I and that was when I was unplugged. Now I'm, I remember like I booted up, so I'm playing a little bit of Black Ops Four now, right? Which is the uh -huh. first again like first game I bought since Modern Warfare yeah, yeah, Two, yeah. and I'm playing a bit of the multiplayer. And every time I open it up for like the customization stuff, it's like there's like 17 different like c like customization and skin tabs. And I'm just like, I opened them once, flipped through them, and closed them all, and decided I'm never going to look at them again. I'm just going to play the video game. Yeah, I think and actually, no one can stop me. I think the, what we were talking about then was like when they implemented the Call of Duty loot boxes. And that was when but, you guys uh, were all cheating by just putting controllers on different PS4s and like stocking the, the skins and moving them between different accounts. Oh, that was, yeah, no, that was, there was a glitch, and it was like... There was a glitch where, not even a glitch, it was, you had to use the USB thing. But you could get all the skins, and we were just like, we had throwaway accounts that we had everything unlocked on, was all that was. We should, we should real it. quick, read, to, uh, okay. read his Instagram post. Xehanort was controlling Terra's body when he created Ansem and Xemnas. But Ansem had no form until he possessed me. Am I the way he looks the way he does? Slanty face. <laughs> Terra <laughs> searching Radiant Garden. Oh, that's great. I'm just running back here to get that hidden Mickey so while I was thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, no, it's fine. Uh, but getting back to zombies, I basically I was just saying it's like it used to be real simple, uh, but now it's like there's all this crap at the very beginning. Well, that's, so there's there's but, no there's no win state in old zombies. You just go for as long as you can yeah, until and you I, die. I can't confirm that there is a win state this time, but I know that win states have been implemented before, where it's like you got to fight like the final boss zombie thing, gimmick thing, but. Uh, I was, and earlier today you told me that when you uh, booted it up you were given an objective. Well, it's like do it's like do the thing. Do the thing to start doing what used to be called the Easter egg back in the day. Uh, well, yeah, back in back a oh, long time man. ago they were like, "Hey, there's here's a bunch of like really oh, esoteric stuff that isn't explained at all that so, you can figure out if you're nuts enough." So basically, and now it's like yeah. just required esoteric nonsense. And it's like you, you get trophies do. for it now and whatnot. Hey, you want to do a destiny raid while also fighting zombies? Well, now you don't even have to because the bots can just oh, shoot man. the zombies for you. In Black Ops Two, there was two trophies. There was one to, to do to Easter egg, to do to quote Easter egg, and the other one to do the true ending of the Easter egg. <laughs> uh. <laughs> the Easter egg has true endings. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh, look, we didn't miss any. Oh, sick. Unless they're out of order again. Wait, how much more world is left? <laughs> I guess a lot. I guess this must be a big place. I felt like uh. that must have been like the midway point. I guess I was incorrect. You toss that that your your umbrella you around. That, dude. Jiminy uh, Cricket, you're good. But really, it, me explaining this, all that's really getting at is, honestly, the gameplay and the story have both gone in the same direction of, it used to be simple and concise back in the day, and now it's just just loaded with so much bullcrap. Uh, and uh, I'm not giving it a fair shake, guys. I'm really not. It might be fun. <laughs> it might be. It might be. He I'm doesn't know, an old though. man. But it's like, okay, go back to World at War. It's like, the gameplay was simple, and then at, like... Verruckt came out and added a bunch of crap, and they were like, hey, we're going to see what works. And then Shinonuma and Doris, they were like, okay, this is what worked from Verruckt, and we're going to keep it, okay? All right. It's like Sounds like a plan. Because it's like, Verruckt ended up being too small. There was zombies that had, like, an extra tier of speed that is just unbearable. But, like, there was no real place to survive in that one because everything is just tight corridors. And it's like Shinonuma, it's like, oh, okay, we're going to make just an absolutely massive map now. 
it's like, well, people liked the the little like a little bit of story and people being able to talk. So instead of just having randos that talk now, we're going to develop four characters that all have their own personality and interact with each other. Um, and we're also going to implement some little tidbits of stuff here and there. It's like, oh, you can see like the meteor in the distance, and if you aim at it, it's like your characters will be like, oh, so this is where it started or whatever. It's like, oh, so that's where they got the element 115. Just, just like fun stuff for people who are paying attention. Yeah. And As then, opposed to interconnecting stories between the Titanic and ancient gladiator so, times. Oh, God. So then, yeah, and Doris, they added a little bit more than that, but it's like the same structure. Like, they they made the map smaller but denser with stuff, and then they added some things where it's like there are some hidden radios where it's like you can hear a recording that kind of explains about the, the whole Dr. Maxis and everybody. And it's like, it's basically, it's just, hey, uh, did you know that Hitler liked occult stuff? I did not know this. I've never. Uh, I, there's not a, even a single piece of media that's ever told me this. Yeah, before. exactly. Right. Some some radical new stuff, but it's basically just hey. Oh God! Please stop <laughs> with the triangle yeah. prompts. Oh. Oh man. Good stuff. <sighs> okay. But it was just hey, Hitler did some stuff. There is a story here. You really gotta kind of connect the things from Shinonuma and this, and it's like, it, it was. It was just, like, some things to, like, fiddle with your brain. It's like, hey, they, you know, here are some characters that you hear about. It's like one of the characters, the German guy, he's actually, like, a big proponent of all this and kind of the reason. Yada yada. But it's like it didn't really go much further than sure. that. Sure. But it's like, it felt like that was a good balance. And then World... Not World of War. Uh, Black Ops 1, they kind of went a little bit further from that. They were like, ah, here's some... Also, that's where the... Black Ops is where the, the Easter egg stuff started. And... Shinonuma, there was actual, like, Easter egg. It was like, hey, if you hit these three things, the song will play. That's what an actual Easter egg is. <laughs> uh, and then in Darice, it was like, hey, if you do this thing in the sequence, you can get some, like, some weird floaty alien stuff. But then, uh, I think it was Ascension was the first map that actually, actually had an Easter egg. I wonder if this video will get a ridiculously higher number of views if I put, like, hash, like, if, if in the tags uh, on this video I put, like, Zombies and Easter egg and stuff oh like that. God, like, will, this, will just the video, will the viewership on this video just explode? Oh, man, I could, I could get, I know a few, few channels to do that stuff, so I could give you some hints. Rapunzel about, can but... do amazing things with her super long hair, but it must be a ton of work. Hashtag Rapunzel. Hashtag long hair. <laughs> hashtag Kingdom of Corona. Oh man, but I, I'm not even gonna go into the Easter egg stuff in World War or in the other ones. But it's like, hey, here's some really obscure stuff that if you do it, you don't really get anything other than the sense of pride and accomplishment that you did it. Oh man, I love my sense of pride and accomplishment. But it's like, there was no real reason to do it other than, well, we played zombies a lot, so we may as well try to do this really obscure thing along the way. Yeah, just an extra layer for people um, who have played it enough that are like, like just getting bored of it. Yeah, but even then in Black Ops, they kept the same basic structure gameplay-wise. It was just like, here's a new map, and we'll introduce a new perk machine here and there. But that's about it. It's like, you know, it's still... You spawn in, you shoot the stuff, yada yada. If you want to do an Easter egg in the background, we're going to put it in the maps, and it's fun to do, but you don't have to do it by any means to have a good time. And it's like, fast forward to now, it's like, the the gameplay really reflects the storytelling, because it's like, oh, but di actually, there was... The, you're, there are three timelines. There might be more than three timelines now. And it's like, also, there's the one timeline where, like, the world blew up, and you get to play the map where the world blew up. But also, there are other maps where you play where it didn't blow up, and the guys did stop it on the moon. Uh, because one of them, you shoot missiles from the moon, and that was actually the end of Black Ops 1. But it's like, or it doesn't. But here are all these other new characters, and also there's the man that can talk to the ethereal plane. That's where Samantha is, but in this one it's the ethereal plane, and this one it's not. And also, but there's like, the zombies that have this color eye are controlled by this person, but the zombies that have this color eye are controlled by this person, and there's a guy who ate the zombie flesh, so now he can speak to the ethereal plane people. But he's going crazy. Oh man, isn't it so deep and complex? No, it's it's just confusing. So here's here's it's what's, just here's, complicated. here's what's gonna happen, right? There's gonna be there's gonna be three types of reactions to this in our audience. Okay. There's gonna be one group that's just like going, "This sounds wild," but I'm enjoying hearing Joey get mad about this, and that's gonna be 95% of our viewership, right? Yeah. Then there's gonna be a 5% that is just like, "Yeah, exactly." <laughs> But people like it. They've been doing it. Like people, people have been enjoying it. So, <laughs> what was? How did I word maybe, it? Maybe Kingdom Hearts fans could get into get into the zombies. Well, let's see, I was we were talking about it earlier because I was like I was drawing parallels to that and to KH and zombies. 
because it's like the basically the same franchise. Yeah, basically because it's like Kingdom Hearts one, pretty pretty simple and concise story, and as it goes on, they just keep wearing on all the crap to it. <laughs> and it's the same thing with zombies at this point. Like I don't even, I don't know how the gladiatorial arena or the Titanic or any of that is implemented. I don't know these characters. I know <laughs> the the core. I know in Black Ops Two there's a cutscene where the core people, like the core players from World at War, Shinonuma and Doris, the 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 American, the German, the Russian, and the Chinese man, all of them were reducing them just to their race. Joey, I geez. don't remember their name. There's Tank, <laughs> just, just that's, it's Nikolai right. Tank Dempsey. Uh, I don't, I don't remember the others. Do not worry about it. I'm just anyway. Around. But I'm just saying, it's like, it's like these people were just. It, originally, back in the day, it was just, hey, we were during World War II, and also all these zombies came together. Uh, we need to put our differences aside and just fight together. And then in Black Ops One, there's a cutscene in one of the maps where it's like, is that hey, still canon? Are you about to talk about the Pentagon map, or is this a different thing? You're this is a different about? thing. Okay, sorry, I was different saying, mind. no, it's the the same core group of people have a magic orb that they used to time travel back to the young Doctor, so that the old Doctor can shoot him, his old young self, in the head to try to stop a different event in a different timeline. Cool. <laughs> it's madness. <laughs> it's so it's, confusing. It's madness. I have. So, the, I think the way I put it yesterday is it's like, back, I used to be on the forefront of the lore back in the day because I'm stupid, okay? Back in Black Ops 1 and World at War, but it's like, by the end of Black Ops 1, like, I was so, it was raining, I was so sick, I had my torch and I just threw it in the dirt and walked off. And one of my other friends came over and picked up that torch, dusted it <laughs> off and relit it. And now I ask them about the zombie stuff. I'm like, so what is up with this timeline shenanigans? Is this the friend who watches the show or is this a yes, different? Okay, yes. Yes, so. <laughs> You know who you're talking about and I appreciate it. I appreciate <laughs> my voice cut out there. I appreciate you keeping me up to date with the crap. Because I know I can't do it anymore. Hey, look at Damascus. Anyway. Oh, we finally, hey, at Damascus. I didn't even look. Oh. Thank you for keeping track of these things. And Joey. then there's the one, there's the one timeline in Origins from Black Ops 2, the only DLC I downloaded because I just, it was like, guys, this is the beginning and the end of it all. So I was like, okay, okay, I'll get <laughs> I, back I'll in get for this. For and you gotta fight the Templar. Uh, I, it stopped being about Nazi zombies. <laughs> it's all about all the other zombies is now. It, you know, it's like Templars. Is it, is it an Assassin's Creed crossover? It's maybe. I don't no, there's a really bad opening cutscene with really. I showed you the, how bad it looks, where the dude like pickaxes some boulders and then some zombies rip his head in half. <laughs> so, Look, Treyarch has never had the best writer. <laughs> it was all a dream. Anyway, it wasn't a dream. My bad. It was worse. It was kids playing. That's right. That's right. It was kids playing. I'll, with get, action I'll get to that after this. Hey, horse. <laughs> Do the thing from the movie some more. Okay, I'm gonna cool down oh, for a cutscene. It's fine. Go ahead and do that. Such a good boy. Yes, you are. <laughs> are you all tired from chasing this bad man all over the place? Excuse me. Nobody appreciates you, do they? Do they? Oh come on! He's a bad horse. Oh, he's nothing but a big sweetheart. Isn't that right? Maximus. This is a new rendition of a uh, KH2 track. It sounds pretty good. You've got to be kidding me. Look, today is and it's synced up with it's 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 for the scene. It, you, you, yeah, you saw that, saw right? That. that was nice. It's like they're it's like they're making a movie or something. Oh my god! And then you can chase each other to your heart's content. Okay. So was that was that dark part of the forest meant to encapsulate the entire nighttime sequence of the secrets exchanged you know. at the at the at the, over the fireplace? Uh, perhaps I don't know. Plus, like it wasn't her birthday yesterday. Now it is. It must have been nighttime. Rapunzel, you're here, and you're okay. <laughs> yeah, you too. And look, I meet a friend. Meet Maximus. You could say Flynn introduced us, and where one goes, the other follows. This no. is Sora, Goofy, and Donald. They've Wait, they, they messed it up. They did, she did. She didn't do it in the right order. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing, they messed it up. Applause. 
Like, we're happy that they messed it up. Can I ride Maximus? Or can you speak to He's in the party now. Hello, Maximus. Can I talk to you? Can you talk to this not. dog? No, I think Glenn and Maximus are warming up to each other. You just punched him in the gut with his horse hoof. That should have no, broken all of his ribs. I was about to say, that should have crippled him. Can we go now? Those bells must be coming from the kingdom. Bells? There were bells in the cutscene, in the, in the movie, bells. but there aren't bells in the cutscene that we just watched. Well, there's a campfire. Hey. The, okay, so we were in that forest for an entire 12 hours. <laughs> All right, fair enough. We had monsters. Did we really need the horse? Let's get Okay, going. so it's whatever. When I, when, I, when I turned around to get that hidden Mickey at the tower, that was canon. That happened, and it took me a day to go back there and then yeah, catch up with them. Yeah, there you go. That's makes what happens. Sense. That's what happens. I mean, it, all, it all adds up. It all makes sense. So back to zombies. Uh, so Origins comes out on in Black Ops 2, and it's like, this is where it begins, this is where it ends, and they break open a... It shows the Nazis breaking open a thing, and there are Templar zombies that come out. And then for some reason, the original gang is there, but the young now it's time travel shenanigans. But the original gang is there now, and there's time traveling shenanigans, I guess. And they meet up, and then they're doing the thing, and you do the Easter egg, and you fight the Templars and the Nazi zombies and the the, the Panzer Shrek, not Panzer Shrek. What was that thing? The Panzer something. Don't ask me, dude. It's a big mech suit robot. This is all well this after is, my time. Because because Nazis. Nazi stuff. They were excavating the the site of the something, yada yada. Anyway, you do the thing. You get the magic stabs that you can also fight with. Yeah, there's magic stabs in this one. You can fight with. You get a bunch of bull crap. I don't know what you're complaining about. This all sounds super badass. No, listen, I, man. Back at okay, Shino Numa and Darice. It's like, hey, uh, it's like you. The stuff you get out of the box are guns. You can get monkey bombs because, haha, ha, funny, you throw it and it attracts zombies. And the super weapon is the ray gun, which was from the very beginning. And the wonder waffle, which is, hey, here's a here's a word that we heard one time. Hitler tried to make a weapon called the wonder waffle, let's so just, we're going to make our own. Let's just put it in here and make yeah, it a but waffle it's like, because it's actually, funny. But it's like, uh, it's a... Joshua, hit us with your history. Um, uh, the wonder waffle is actually just a term that means wonder weapon. Okay, yeah. Did that. he try to develop a weapon called the Wonder Weapon specifically? No, 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 no. Well, he, he had his the program. Oh, okay, well, yeah, gotcha. to make Wonder Weapons, to make big, Freaking... big death rays and yeah. stuff. But anyway, they're like, okay, well, we're gonna make a lightning chain gun, and it's gonna be kind of cool, but it's a super weapon, whatever. And then that's as far as it went. And then now you have the magic Templar stabs that you got to join together to shoot the beams at the zombies to do the Easter egg to do the thing. This is just this is just a destiny raid. And then you're describing a destiny raid to me right now. And then when you complete the Easter egg, it zooms out. And guess what? Those the kids that have been controlling the zombie, the kid that was controlling the zombies from the ether because her dad Maximus did the thing, and the doctor locked wait, him in the zombie Wait, hold on, wait, is this a crossover with Tangled and Maximus is in there? Yes. Okay, cool. Do no, Maxus, not Maximus. <laughs> uh, and anyway, but it turns out, it's like, it zooms in, it's like, oh, you see your main characters and they're just action figures, and Samantha and the Dr. Richtofen, that was his name, Richtofen. Uh, and it's like, they're just playing with toys, and it's like, they're not act it's not actually zombies, they're just... You're not playing real zombies, these kids are just playing toys in the attic, and also, Mac, the dad is It's just still like Smash there. Brothers, really, I don't know what you're But then, about. it's like, oh, it was all just a dream, and then you hear the bomb sirens, and the dad's like, come on guys, we gotta get into the anti-zombie chamber, or whatever he said. <laughs> and then you keep playing, and then they keep going, and it's like, but that's not a that is a timeline, but it's a different timeline. It's, it's, they were playing with action figures, but they were also also zombies. But I guess, maybe. There's a lot of layers to this. Oh, it was a fake timeline, but the zombies are real. You know, back in my day, it was just about fighting. It was just my... about killing Nazis who were also zombies. It was like you don't like zombies and you don't like Nazis. It's like and you shoot them a lot. Huh. <sighs> It was like it was like Oreos. So that's peanut my, butter and jelly. That's my old man moment. Also, zombies was hard. Zombies. This my friend and I. We did one round of zombies and made it to round seventeen, doing absolutely who knows what, because the I just I just wanted to die. 
And my teammate bots kept reviving me. They would not <laughs> let me cease. You just wanted to quit. I, just, I already got this one, I Zora. just, I laid on the ground as the zombie gladiators and the zombie tigers were beating on top of me. My there are zombie tigers and the zombie yeah, gladiators? there's arena? teleporting zombie tigers, but whatever. What Confirmed a, full research runs playthrough of the Blackout 4, the zombie, not what, Blackout 4, whatever, Black Ops I'm not 4 even, zombies. Whatever, mode. tigers were a thing, who cares? They're, they're zombie dogs and Shinonuma, so whatever. It's okay because of how because I liked the game with the one zombie animal, but this is a different game with a different zombie animal. So now animal. you don't. Now I'm you an don't old man. Like it. I don't like it anymore, and I don't like being this way, guys. I don't want it to be this way. Why can't I just be happy that zombies are still going? Why do I have to be bitter about this? Next time on Kingdom Hearts Three, we'll go to the kingdom, I guess, and maybe see some lanterns or whatever. On the next episode of Kingdom Hearts 3, I'm going to cease talking about Nazi zombies, guys. Don't worry.